everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is Gwyneth and for today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys this TTDI contact lens haul so thank you to TTDI for sending me these contact lenses as well as sponsoring today's video and if you guys don't know what TTDI is, they sell a bunch of colored contacts on their website as well as prescripted ones. And I've been wanting to try them for a while now because I know a lot of people love these contact lenses and I've never worn colored contact lenses so we'll see what I look like today. I might, I might look crazy but we're gonna see. <laughs> So before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which will be in the description box down below. And let's get started. All right, to start off, look how beautiful the packaging is. So cute and colorful. So what comes inside are these cute little stickers and a little message, as well as some glitter. And then there's a mirror, a hand mirror. And then a bunch of contact lens cases. There's four because I have four pairs. And there's also some tattoos, super random. <laughs> All right, so before I actually try on the contact lenses, I do usually wear prescription contacts and my prescription is a negative 5.25. I'm blind. It's pretty bad. I've worn contacts since seventh grade. I had glasses since third grade, so I've had bad, bad vision for a very, very long time. But the contact lenses that they sent me today, I actually requested for a negative 5.50. It's because they don't have negative 525s. I believe after four, they don't go in quarters, if that makes sense. So they don't go at 4.25 or 4.75. They only go by four and 4.50. So that's why I ordered 550. I just went a step up. So hopefully, it turns out good. So I'm gonna wash my hands. Always remember to wash your hands whenever you're taking off or putting on your contacts. All right, so prior to trying on these colored contacts, my eyes are normally just really, really dark brown as you guys can see. And I can never really see the brown unless I'm in the sunlight, you know? They're just really dark brown because I'd be putting brown colored eyes on my Animal Crossing character. So they're brown, okay? They're brown. All right, so the first one I'm gonna be trying on is the Polar Lights Brown. And I love the Polar Light series. They look so natural and I've always wanted to try them out. I'm gonna start by taking off the contacts I have right now. I really don't need a mirror when I take off my contacts. You guys are probably wondering how I take off my contacts with nails. Kind of go in with like the sides of my finger, if that makes sense. I'm kind of just take them out. <laughs> so the contact cases that they provide do come with something to take them out or put them in. I'm personally not going to be doing that just because I already know how to put contact lenses in, but I can, I'll try it too. I'm, but why not? All right, these are hard to open. For those that haven't ever worn contacts before, you also want to try to look at it from the side and make sure that the contact is kind of like a bowl. You don't want it to come out at the ends. That means that it is inverted. I'm gonna demonstrate me putting on contacts normally and then I'll, I'll probably show you guys with the tool that they provide. But normally I just take my two fingers, my thumb and my index, open it, look in a mirror, I have another mirror here, and just pop it in. Imagine I have one colored eye like this. She's mysterious. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put the other contact in with this little tool that they provided. I'm gonna use two fingers, open her eye. Oh my God, it's so much harder with this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna demonstrate. I'm just gonna use my finger. Girl, I can see. That's a good thing. All right, not gonna lie. I can kind of see the color around my vision. That makes sense. I can kind of see the color, but like it's not that bad. Oh, this is cute though. All right, so these are the Polar Lights in Brown. So cute. All right, so moving on, I'm just going to grab my contact solution and try on the next pair and put these in the contact cases that they provided. So whenever you guys are wearing these contacts, um, you just want to make sure that whenever you use them, whenever you put them back, that you put new solution in. You don't want to reuse it because there's bacteria and germs in there. It's like education and this is really just a try on haul. Like, 
Oh, I'm going to take one out with my fingers. So like I said, I'm going to use this side of my index finger and my thumb. Just kind of pinch it till you have it in your hand like this. I'm going to try to use their little tool to take it out. Oh, please, please don't hurt. I'm really nervous. I'm really just so used to my fingers. Like, I don't want to use this. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, moving on. So next I'm gonna try on the Polar Lights Gray. Hey girl, I feel like a werewolf or something. Hmm. You just have to make sure your eyes can adjust to it and that they feel comfortable before you wear them out. My eyes are like watery right now. Okay, so these are the Polar Lights Gray. I feel like an Asian baby girl, like. Tattoo, contacts. Should I do an Asian baby girl transformation? Like, I look like one right now. Like, let's do it, let's do it. I feel like Ariana Grande whenever she's at an award show. Cause I can't tell if it's recording. Am I recording? I think I am. All right, so next I'm gonna try on these Polar Lights yellow green ones. The next one isn't Polar Lights, if you guys are wondering. You probably think I got all Polar Lights. I got three Polar Lights and then one different one. <laughs> These look like a mix between the Polar Lights Brown and Polar Lights Gray, right? Like a hazel, maybe? I don't know what hazel even is, to be honest. Let's put on the other one to make a full judgment, you know? Hey. All right, so these are the Polar Lights in Yellow Green. Moving on to the next one. And then you also wanna fill up the contact lens case Enough so that the contact lens is bathed in it. And then whenever I put them in the case, I like to make sure that they're kind of like in there like a bowl, like this way, not like this way, so that I just wanna make sure that the whole thing is doused in the solution. All right, so last but not least, we have amber brown. The reason why I got polar lights brown and then amber brown, these are supposed to be like a darker brown. I wanted something close to my eye color, but makes the brown more apparent, you know? <laughs> I'm really blind, I'm like looking over here. Like I'm not looking straight at the camera like this, not like focusing on anything. Ooh, you guys tell the difference. This is what I, my eyes, I wish my eyes look like. I like these. These are like an everyday, like looks real type thing, you know, that's what I'm going for. I love the other ones, but this one is like, I can wear this every day. Like this is pretty. This is my eyes, but better. So this is what it looks like next to my regular eyes. Hmm. Is it just me or do contacts like make me have more eye boogers? Do you guys feel the same way? Like for those that wear contacts regularly like me, like I feel like I have more eye boogers than usual. Oh, these are so pretty. I love these. They're like a natural dark brown. You can tell they're brown, but like very slight, you know, slight flex. My eyes just have to adjust, but these are so pretty. So these are the amber brown. So out of the four, which one do you guys like the best? Do you guys like the Polar Lights Brown, Polar Lights Gray, Polar Lights Yellow Green, or the Amber Brown ones? Leave a comment, let me know which one you guys like the best. If you guys liked any of the contact lenses that I tried on today and are thinking of purchasing them, I do have a discount code for you guys, which is G-V-V-Y-N-E-T-H, and that will give you 10% off the TTDI website. And then another thing that I wanted to mention, if you do regularly wear contact lenses, like regular ones, um, just check on your prescription, like your diameter and like the thickness of your contact lenses that your optometrist prescribes to you just make sure that they match the TTDI's contact lenses because if they don't really match then your eyes aren't going to really succumb to them or like they won't be used to them because everybody's eyes are different everybody has different size eyes di in diameter pupils and everything so just make sure that you guys recheck on your prescriptions make sure that 
they match and that they'll work for you. And I'm saying all this because I just want you guys to be careful because I know a lot of times people have issues with contact lenses, like it'll make their eyes red and won't even fit their eyes. So if you are planning to wear them out in public, just make sure your eyes are very comfortable with them. You don't want to go out with lenses that are about to fall out or anything like that. Just make sure you're comfortable and you'll be a-okay. So if you guys have any questions or concerns regarding contact lenses, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Like I said, I've been wearing contact lenses for so many years now, probably about, I wanna say 12 years. Yeah, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions or concerns. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up and leave any video suggestions in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.